So I was gonna post a different video this week, and I can tell you that it's gonna be coming soon. But I figured it wouldn't really close out the month of Halloween for my channel. So I'm deciding to talk about the scariest thing out there old Instagram photos. I'm taking a look back at some of those beautiful pictures that I posted on that beautiful social media account. So without further ado, let's get a look back at some of my old Instagram photos. We'll start with the first one. Some of you guys have probably already seen this. I'm trapped in a general store at a campsite because it's raining crazy outside. How am I feeling about this? Bummed out? Angry? Constipated? You know, you can't really tell from that face. They say a picture says a thousand words. I think this one has a few more up its sleeve. Okay, here's the good stuff. This is right after I learned about filters, and apparently years before I learned I didn't have to go crazy with them. Do they even need a filter? Probably not. Do they deserve a place in this video? Yes. Yes, they do. This is one of the first pictures where I guarantee you it started out with, Mom, take a picture of me like this. This is actually one of my favorite oldest ones because I'm at the zoo enjoying Coco with a nice light pattern behind me. I look almost like a silhouette. It was pretty artsy for someone who had just gotten into this whole Instagram craze. Now, if we skip a few years, we come to this. The Beachbody era. How long will this era go for? Only time will tell. Next up is a pointless TBT that doesn't need to be there. Guys, what the hell? I think this photo started out as me walking home and checking my hair in the reflection of the phone, and as I was doing that, I found out that the lighting was actually pretty good, so I took the opportunity. Everyone say it with me. Has anything changed? No! I think this picture has the same story. I didn't even mean to do that. They're back to back. Carry on. Now this was the start of my in quotations, who cares phase. I say in quotations because who cares? I actually cared, deep down, somewhere. We had made little pin-on buttons at camp and I had chosen mine to be the actor Chris Pine's Eye. I held him up at different locations and said captions like, Chris Pine's Eye is loving the view. People would question it by saying why, and I would answer simply by saying, why not? One day I'll have that tattoo across my forehead. Next one. This one actually started with, hey dad, take a picture of me like this. So, variety. We were actually next to a Walmart super center in a small town in Illinois. I mean, Instagram Central, right? Am, am I right? I remember me wanting to rush to get this picture done because there was a lady with a shopping cart coming by and she was getting closer and closer. And I was not about to answer the questions that she was bound to ask. This had the caption, don't wear nice shoes while mowing the lawn. AKA me wanting to get across to people that I mowed the lawn through a joke. Well, they don't like me now, but maybe if I say I mowed the lawn. This is what I now like to call all I do when I'm not making YouTube videos. And this one I'll call uh, hashtag YOLO uh, no filter swag. Okay. Moving on. This one I actually remember as the one my crush's mom liked instead of my actual crush. Nothing else that needs to be said about that. Me in a nutshell, the story of my life. Now if you think this video was a bit, uh, Taylor, you're generalizing an entire group of people. Well, how about this picture? He's holding a taco, and he's wearing a sombrero. We named him Senior Frosty. Oh boy. All right, what do we got up next? You're what? The, the, <laughs> what? Okay, well that one didn't need to be in there. What? what? Just skip, no, skip, skip. D no, no, what is this? No, no, not the, no, no, the, okay. No, okay, this one's fine. This was fine, we can talk about this one. So there are some nice icicles. D no! So I was also pretty creative on Instagram. I'm pretty proud of these two pictures and how I incorporated real life stuff with just stuff on paper. This is probably the same thing as the lawnmower one, me putting a funny caption where AKA I'm just trying to get across that I'm working on our basement. But hey, looking good in those glasses, bro. This is another one I'm pretty proud of. I like how everything turned out here. Is that another one where your parents had to take that picture for you, Taylor? Yeah, yes, but go away, Karen. No, why are you here? Oh, here we go. I took this one evening years ago in my backyard. And here's another one. Did I go through a nature phase? No, I couldn't. Have. No, I so many nature pictures. You know what I don't get? How people can delete these photos as soon as they post them. Whether it has to do with some kind of blemish on your face or maybe some people left some negative comments on there. So now you feel like you're forced to take it off because of what people are saying about a pointless photo. Or maybe it's not so pointless. I mean, you posted it to tell other people what you're doing and show them what you're doing and maybe make them a little bit jealous, but maybe you actually posted this because you like it. I don't delete my photos for fear of being embarrassed. I keep them on there 
because I know they meant something to me at one point. And maybe they still mean something to me. This is me. This has always been me. I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. The name is Pyman2533. That's another thing I don't plan on changing anytime soon. Also, the name's Taylor Gray on this channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to like this video or subscribe to my channel, then please do. And this has been my video. If you like it, great. And if you don't, at least have a happy Halloween.